man, anytime had something up there just to try to deal with it. But that one cannon is not going to live very long against um against those lurkers. I mean, I, I don't know though. I mean, it looks like all right. So a bunch of hydras being boost for Jadong too. So he might try to make this hole and then try to get into the back and do tremendous damage. And this is not looking good for any time. He didn't see it. There's no way he saw it. Um, if he had seen it, he wouldn't have uh, he wouldn't have allowed that to happen. I don't think. Now he's trying to put up cannons at the back of his base. He knows he needs to protect uh, against lurkers there. Are the cannons going to be up on time, though? That's a question. Jadon going for the cannons. He knows if he can kill the detection, it'll be absolutely huge. And this is not looking good for any time. Oh, man. Jadon has just snuck his lurkers through. And <laughs> looking horrible for any time here. It looks like he finally gets a reaver out, but Jadong has now planted at the uh, area overlooking the natural expansion. I don't think that cannon has vision over that area there, so all the probes are going to be forced out, uh, or they're going to die. Another lurker now walking towards natural. Natural looks like it's got a lot of um, a lot of cannons. Oh man, but the lurker just runs by the cannons. Absolutely crazy play there. And oh, we're going to see a Pimpus play moment here. Looks like Anytime going to try to splash the Zealot. Oh, come on, Anytime. Splash the damn Zealot already. No. No, Anytime. Oh, fail. He was trying to splash his own Zealot so he could kill off the Lurker, but instead the Lurker gets 18 freaking um, probe kills mainly, and now Anytime is going to be dead in the water here. Another Lurker still pounding away at his mineral lines. Oh, man. I gotta say, I mean, anytime really made some significant errors this game. He really should have scouted that better. Um, and yeah, that one DT, yeah, you're gonna pull off a, a Pimpus play there against that. No. Speed upgraded shuttle, uh, still not gonna do anything. Uh, once again, I'm surprised at how these players are uh, not really going heavy duty Corsair Reaver. I mean, I understand there's a transition build that, you know, you transition into. Um, a, uh, a fast Templar build, but against Jadong, I feel like it's not the good idea. It's just, it's a better idea just to uh, stick to one thing and, and try to go all in with it, you know. And uh, here we're seeing, you know, the bunch of Templar, but that's going to be it. The one DT is going to block the Hydra, but that's going to be it. That's it's going to be a temporary respite here. And uh, you know, and that was a huge mistake there. Anytime trying to go for that awesome play there with the with the lurker and the um, the the uh, what call it the zealot and the reaver, but instead it was an epic fail. Only Reach can do that, by the way. Reach has done that against NC Yellow uh, in another Pimpus play I did, um, commentated, and uh, looks like this forge is going to go down. Probably everything's going to go down very soon there. Just one Corsair, a uh, couple High Templar. It doesn't look like they have Storm though, do they? Uh, no, looks like the Hydralists are not going to pick off that uh, Reaver actually. So that's good work. Um, by any time, barely holding his front there. Any time might still be able to get back if Jadong does that again, like lose all of his units for no reason, um, or you know for a good reason, but just not be able to do any damage and lose all of his units. Uh, any time losing a Sare there, um, you know he's now managing to rebuild his probes, but at the same time he doesn't really have much of a front. He has no units really. There's an Archon and that's pretty much it, uh, and a Reaver of course. And okay, now speed upgraded Overlord's finished and uh, these DTs are going to be useless now. So I do expect another frontal attack from Jadong. Even if it fails, there's really not much Anytime can do to uh, counter him. I don't even think he has a shuttle at this point, and there's so many Scourge in the air that, you know, there's no Corsairs either defend shuttles. So, I mean, it's it just, you know, even if even if Jadong loses this battle, he's still going to be in a, a huge lead in this game. And here we're seeing Jadong going in for a big backdoor attack there. And, you know, the main mistake of this game was the fact that Anytime had a cannon up there, but it was just a little bit too far away from the temples, and it didn't spot or stop the lurkers. I mean, if it stopped the lurkers, this whole game would have been very different. I think that he had a good opening, it just, he just couldn't follow it up with them. Um, you know, the, he just made a mistake, basically. Now he's trying to drop the Reaver to do some damage, but it's probably going to get sniped pretty soon. The Archon being very smart, blocking that ramp. Looks like uh, we're going to see these Hydralists trying to go down there, sniping an Observer, and uh, since the Shuttle got sniped also, uh, the Reaver will now go down. Another Reaver coming in from behind. It looks like there's st no, the Shuttle didn't get sniped. It got chased away. This, uh, this is a superb Reaver Micro, i got to say, but wow, look at this. Now a Lurker down. Um, there are Observers out somewhere, but... Uh, oh wow, anytime losing a, uh, a High Templar there, it looked like it could have stormed something, but um, nope, anytime now denied mining once again at his main base, and uh, yeah, I mean, he has just no economy right now, Jadong at four bases, it does look like Jadong is going to achieve a 
pretty much an all kill here. Yeah, I would call it an all kill. He's gonna kill. Uh, he's gonna go 4-0 this series, um, and, and you know that's disappointing, greatly disappointing for uh, Air Force Ace fans. But it is certainly, certainly uh, impressive as hell for Jadong. Um, you know, it just shows how good he is. And uh, it looks like finally a storm coming from any time. Jadong doesn't even care. He's not noticing it. Um, he's just gonna go and probably a move uh, Hydras into the main into the natural, and that's going to be it. Um, Jadong looks like he's going to lose the lurkers in the back, but, uh, you know, like I said again, no economy for any time versus uh, four base for Jadong. And, uh, you know, Jadong is not the kind of player who makes the mistakes that allow uh, opponents to come back. He's no Hoja, for example. I remember Hoja versus Reach on this map. I mean, there's no reason, and GG coming from any time, there's no reason Hoja should have lost that, but Reach managed to outman him at the end of that game. So, it looks like the 2 0 lead that Reach managed to open up in the beginning has disintegrated, and Jadong has all killed the Air Force Ace team. Not very surprising, though, but I gotta say, Reach won the series. Um, yeah, he won the series cause by uh, beating Young and uh, for GG a couple days ago, there's Jadong with hands up, uh, just being like, "Oh, let me, let me let me touch my locks and let me touch my hair." Um, Jadong, you're a force of nature. You shouldn't be touching your hair. Leave that to Bisu, man. And uh, anytime, looking a little bit uh, annoyed there. Um, I don't blame him though. I mean, he really tried his best uh, this game, and he just made one big mistake um, and, and allowed the lurkers to get in from the back. And you know, you just gotta look and feel for the any t for the um, Air Force Ace team because just there's so few players. I mean, each of the other teams has about, you know, 15 players showing up at all these times. <laughs> and there's NC Yellow. I think that's NC Yellow saluting at the wrong time. <laughs> I think I got it right this time. NC Yellow still hung over, um, saluting at the wrong time. Very nice work. But uh, my point was, yeah, Air Force Ace just has like eight players, I think, total. I think that's their entire contingent there. And, uh, you know, some of them, half of them, just, they can't even play. I mean, they're just, like, walking wounded. They go up there and they just lose. Like, you know, you got your Mew Myungs and your Daezangs and all that. and They're just not looking good this season. But, anyway, there's uh, there's Hwasun Oz's squad. I mean, Hwasun Oz only has eight players here, but their team is much deeper than that. So, uh, you know, there's a lot more talent in there. Anyway, no more talking about this. Thank you very much for watching this entire series. I'll be doing more casts in the near future, but do stay tuned for the... SC2GG Commentator Idol, the final week is done differently. Uh, the final episode is actually two weeks, and it's done differently from before. What we're going to have is the contestants are going to make the videos, then the judges will review the videos, and then you'll watch them. So it'll actually be like American Idol for once. And, uh, you know, you'll be able to consider the reviews, and you, you, hear, you heard it here first. We're just about to announce that actually all of the... Votes will be from the viewers this week. That's right. No judge votes at all because we're doing it this way. I will make a, a bigger announcement later, of course, later this week. So anyway, uh, do stay tuned for those VODs. They'll be up this weekend, and voting will start this weekend, and it'll end next weekend. Um, and the final episode will be Sunday, March 1st. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more commentaries.